Alright guys, we're back and we just beat the Dark Jin Shadala. We had a nice scene there. We've seen our mother. A lot of stuff's happened. Let's see what's going to happen next. Because it's not over yet. And in the end, his dream came true. It's over, Lucian. That's right. Isn't it, Mom? Everybody's pretty happy. <laughs> hermana, hermana, look! Look at the big house! It's a castle, hermanito! <laughs> and look! What is that? Look how the water pours from it! Wait for me! <laughs> well, I've done my preparations for the display. Suppose you've been sat on your backside, Roman. Oh, you got some cheek. Don't you worry, I've got everything under control. <laughs> but you've been sitting down all morning, and you reckon you've set up all your fireworks? That's right. Now, let's show this town what we've got, Catherine. Time to start this party with a bang! <laughs> you, Majesty, the celebrations are about to commence. Yeah, yes, but one cannot cut corners when it comes to grooming, honestly. It will only take one moment. But there's no time, Majesty. A moment, one said. One simply must clean one's ears. Yeah, right. Here, cleaner. But your majesty. <laughs> King Hickory, hurry up! Calm down, you little pipsqueak! I'm still black and blue after battling you know who! Don't worry! King Dom's sure to call a ceasefire today! Yeah! yeah. Come and get it, you lazy Doesn't that nice. brat know I'm royalty? <laughs> A proper party! Ho oh, ho! Just like home! This is what Shadar wanted, isn't it? To see the world at peace. Well, so one of us tells us. I bet he's up there watching now. Him? You and me. Yeah. I just know they are. Now, I wonder if the Kali from Markasan have arrived yet. Well, they're busy people. There's still plenty of time. Which means we've got time to enjoy ourselves, am I right, Dolly Boy? Sure yeah. That. All right. I don't look like it's that much festive right now. Oh, this dude's new looking, right? Or not, maybe? I don't, I don't know. Dialogue doesn't seem that different. I was expecting people to be jumping around partying. Before we go to King Tom. We must do this first. Where are you? Gosh. Okay, fine. Go to King Tom. It's been a long time, your meow just Oh, meow. Hello. One here's congratulations are in order. You defeated you know meow, old habit. You defeated Shadar, did you not? One always knew that you would, of course. One has absolute faith from the first. But we couldn't have done it without you, your meow just We couldn't even have gotten near him without the clarion. Meow. One's little creation came in handy, did it? How very gratifying. That's right. 
If the heads of the three kingdoms hadn't worked together, we would never have made it. Oh, young Oliver, a hero. How Tom flies. You seem like such an ordinary boy. But you followed one's orders to the letter and bravely set out to defeat the Dark Jinn. Oh, it seems like only yesterday. Uh, that ain't how it's... I mean, do you think it might have misremembered things a little, your majesty? Your majesty? <laughs> Why, of course not. But enough about oneself. Wanderer from another world, you and your companions have done well. You have saved our world. What will you claim as your reward? Good point. I'm sure we can think of something. Any ideas, Oliver? I want... I want to go home to Motorville. No, surely not. You've made up your mind, haven't you, Oliver? I... I suppose it is your home, after all. Well, yeah. But Alicia, I mean, your mom, she ain't... It's okay. Maybe I couldn't save mom. But meeting all of you and coming to your world and going on this adventure... It's made me stronger. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> but now, I'm kind of lost. Traveling with all of you has been so much fun. And I've learned that there's nothing we can't do if we work together. But I started out on this journey because I thought I could save my mom. And now that's over. Oliver. So I have to get back to Motorville. It's where me and mom live together. And Miss Layla's there, and Phil, and Myrtle, too. Heh, <laughs> sorry, everybody. I should have spoken to you about all about this. It's all right, Oliver. It's your life. It's your decision. He's right. You really... You've really grown up, Oliver. Of course he has. He's had expert guidance. So very much. I must say, it's not been easy at times, but... Stop it, both of you. What a pair of big heads. <laughs> So does this mean all this? The four of us talking together? Laughing together? It's all over? No, you'll come back and see us, won't you, Oliver? Of course he will. This is your home from home now, and it's Ali Boy. Of course it is. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> One has just had a marvelous idea. Would you care to hear it? Can't you see we're having a moment here, man? Fine, go on then. What is it? We are having a grand celebration, are we not? Why not we make young Oliver's departure part of the festivities? Huh? I couldn't. I think it's a wonderful idea. Please, Oliver, say you'll do it. Gee, I guess I... Uh, sure. Thank you, your majesty. Perfect. Then it's decided. You will have a hero send-off. Alright. How do I have a hero send-off? You have performed enough heroic deeds for one life lifetime, Oliver. One takes it, you will not you will now be returning to your own world. Yep. Very well. Then a magnificent farewell feast will be prepared. Sounds good. So farewell. Yes. Thanks for everything, your majesty. <laughs> So it's the end of our double act, is it? You made one heck of a sidekick, are you, boy? When you get home, you'll look out for Myrtle, won't you? Hey, come back and visit you here. We'll go somewhere dangerous, for old time's <laughs> sake. You got it. Thank you, everybody. Be good, Oliver. Uh, but not too good. See you next time, our world's in a pot. Take care, all of you. Thank you. Farewell, Oliver. An end to pain. What? Huh? What's that? What the hell? What did you do, Oliver? Nothing, I promise. Pitiful fools. What? My gift of mana will cleanse your tainted souls. This stuff. What? What is it? Snow. But it isn't cold. <gasps> What's happening to them? Oh snap, they're turning into zombies. What the hell? 
What the hell? What is this? What the heck? <laughs> Majesty. Oh. That is scary. Marcus. You must come with me. Oh, no way! That is creepy. Wow. That's totally freaked out right there. Damn you, white witch. Marcuson jumped in to save the day. Oliver! Oliver! Who's there? It's me, P. Oliver, it's falling. The ash is falling again. I have to go back there. Huh? P? What do you mean the ash is falling? Wait, I get it. You mean the mana, huh? That stuff from before, right, P? Are you here now in this world? Are you here in Ding Dong Dale? P, wait. P, wait for me. P! D don't scare me like that. Why are you shouting? What? Where am I? We're flying? Wait, is this? It is, boy. You're back aboard the most formidable ship ever to sail the skies. The Iron Wyvern. <laughs> Oliver, you're awake. Prince Markison? What are you doing here? It is quite a tale. Let me tell you all that has been happening. Shoot, I'm listening. So it wasn't all a dream. Sadly not. The mana. It changed them. It changed everything. That's right, man. And if it hadn't been for the prince here, we'd have been changed into horrible beasties ourselves. Proper clothes, it was. What? So everybody... Everybody in Ding Dong Dale is... By the time I arrived, it was already too late. Most of the people had already been transformed into those... things. I was lucky even to be able to get you and your friends out of there. Gee... And it is not Ding Dong Dale alone. The three kingdoms have all been afflicted by the curse of the mana. Ding Dong Dale, Alma Moon, and Hatlin all have been devastated. That's awful. Alma Moon too? Oh no. How could this happen? After all, we and Mom and Lucian did to protect this world. Who the flip is doing this, man, and why? Well, whoever it is, they're stupidly powerful. That Ash runs the work of some two-bit villain. Ash, of course. P, P knows something. P, have you seen her? She was in my dream. She said, she said the ash is falling again. And you're sure she meant the mana? What else could it be? And she said something else. I have to go back there. What? Go back where? I don't know, but that's what she told me. She visited you in your dreams. This is no coincidence. Let's go see her. Wait. Here, your majesty. We'll go find P and we'll ask her what she meant. Will you now? Then you must allow me to accompany you. Huh? You want to come with us? Don't you have subjects to be looking after, Emperor? This is bigger than the Empire alone. If there is even a small chance that it will help save our world, I must do everything I can. You won't get any special treatments from us, you know. That, don't you? Of course. Fine. As your eminence wills it, Let's show this man a spewing maniac. Maniac, the power of the great sages. Very well, then. Thank you, brother. Alright, let's go to Motorville and find P. I leave affairs in your capable hands, Captain Kublai. There are many refugees aboard. I pray that you will use your stout heart to help them regain the courage to fight. Aye. I will. Leave them to me, lad. Huh? Why are these two being so chummy? And it though, he pinched his map, didn't he? When did they kiss and make up? Our world is in danger. We must put aside our petty squabbles. And the theft of the map, it was for my own sake. That it was. You needed something to snap you out of your wretchedness. You are an emperor, not a moonstruck goat herd. Hmm, I'm better now. <laughs> Finally learning to stick up for yourself, are you? I had a fine teacher. Now to Motorville. I entrust myself to your command, Oliver. Marcus and his familiar his party. Alright.
right, so we actually got another party member. I didn't know you'd get more. This is him, he's got electrics, this thing. And it's ready to metamorph. He's level 49 though. I don't know if I'll use him. Not 100% sure. What kind of magic does he have? Well, that's a lot of magic. Alright, um... I don't know if I want to use him. Oh, yeah. I'll just leave Marcus in alone. Hey, my dragon. Hey, big guy. <laughs> Alright. To our world. The name I recall is Shadar, the one whom we termed Executor. Bringing an end to this world was his duty, a task to which he was palpably unequal, and I will not even speak of his duplicity. To think he shared a soul with the Savior, and that he hid this fact from us. It seems that mankind has disappointed your radiance yet again. At the last. The Dark Jinn attempted to save this world. To protect the very creatures that first plunged him into despair. I will not be defied! All who defy our will shall perish. The mortal who shared a soul with Shaddaa still draws breath. Should he too choose to defy our will? His reward shall be death, swift and certain. In my dream, P told me something. She said the ash is falling again. She must know something. We need to find her. No, I have no idea where she would be. But we will find her. P? Yeah, she's there, is she? We still can't see her, man. Ask her about this ash stuff, will you? Oliver? What? P, did something happen? Oliver, Oliver, it fell. What fell, P? It fell again. The ash, it fell, and now everything's hurt. It's have gone. Everyone's hearts have gone all bad. You mean over in the other world? It was my fault. Huh? No, don't say that. It's not your fault, P. How could it be? Wah, it's not my fault. Listen to me, P. It's not your fault. We're going to fix this. P, it was you who saved me, wasn't it? I heard your voice inside me. I've heard it so many times. It was you, wasn't it? Yes, I went to meet you. Thank you, P. I knew it was you. And that means there's no way it can be your fault. Oliver... I have to go, Oliver. I have to go back there. To the other world. Huh? You want me to go to the other world? You want to go to the other world? Okay, listen to me, P. 
It seems like there's some connection between you and the mana. But you're a good girl, okay? You're a nice, kind person. This isn't your fault. I'll prove it to you. I promise. So come with me. Come with us to the other world. Okay, I'll come with you. Hey, we gotta pee. Oh yeah, we gotta pee. Okay. Um, I guess for the heck of it, we'll give him. Uh, no, we'll give him the other uh, ones. Make a full team. Okay. Gateway. safe here. This place should be beyond the reach of the manor. Can these poor people really be the ship's crew? They've been turned into monsters. <sighs> Time for some target practice. You can. We can't fight these people. What? You'd rather let them tear us to pieces, would you? Leave it to P. <gasps> hey! P, look out! Please get better. Sanctify! Oh. That was awesome, P. Me. Did you see that? Oh. Oh. She cured them just like that. Flipping Nora. A dot of a thing like her letting rip with a blooming great spell like that. I like that theory, yeah. So this is Oliver's imaginary friend, eh? Young, what's her name? P, <laughs> was it? You mean P? That's me! I'm P! But why is it that we can see her all of a sudden? Ah, well, that's easy. Allow Professor Drippy to explain. We can see her because she's in our world, innit? And Ollie Boy could always see her because she's from his world, obviously. Um, wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean that we should have been able to see her when we went to Motorville? Oh, 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 I have to explain every little thing now, do I? I may be a <laughs> fount of wisdom, but I got my limits. Quite. What we do know is that this girl destroyed the crystal. Clearly, she possesses the power to purify mana, the spell she used. Miraculous? No, it was Sankify. San Sankify? Sank -i -fi. Sanctify? So P could return those poor people in Ding Dong Dell to their old cell? Indeed she could. In this channel, you have the solution to this rather unfortunate problem. Huh? It's you. You were the one who sent us back to the past. Yep. Yes. You may call me Gallus. I am a member of the council that determines the fate of this the Zodiac. The Zodiacs. The Zodiacs? The fate of the world? Oh, yeah. And what would a busy fellow like you want with the likes of us? I came to thank you. Your power awoke the child. The child? Oh, you mean P? I do. Through her, you now possess the power required to purify this world. Sanctify. Sanctify. You mean P's magic can save the whole world? Indeed it can. When you combine your power with hers... It'll do! Ah, young <laughs> P. At long last, the one you have awaited has come. Yes. <laughs> now we're friends. The time is close at hand. For both you, young P, and for you, Oliver. I wish you well. Goodbye, Doodle Doo! Doodle Doo. Because he's like a bird. Gallus, the Zodiacs. I don't understand. It seems some aspect of our word remains hidden, even to us. Never mind all that. Did you hear what he said? I sure did. Peace magic can save the world. She can cure all the people who are sick. But the three kingdoms are rife with horrors. We cannot send her into their midst. She is only a child. I'm not a child. Hang on a minute, Your Holiness. Have you seen who you're traveling with? This lot aren't exactly grown-ups. We can protect Pete, please, Your Majesty. You have to trust us and her. She's one of us now. She's our friend. 
He best friends. You wish me to place my faith in her as a friend and ally. It seems I have little choice. Huh. All right, little Miss Wizard. It looks like we're counting on you. P, let's save the world together. Hooray! Whoop. I still don't understand who exactly P is. Besides the savior of the world. It is even worse than I had imagined. The town had been completely has been completely overrun by these things. It's terrible. Who could do these this to these poor people? And there we were, thinking the odd broken heart and a nightmare or two were the end of the world. But we have P on our side. We can bring them back. We can bring them all back. Yes, we can. With sanc Sanctify. Indeed, the spell destroyed the black crystal, and judging by what followed, it would seem that was the source of the mana. Yeah, man. I reckon there's probably another one around by here somewhere, and it. Let's see what we can find, shall we? What do you reckon this crystal's going to be, then, Ollie Boy? It looks like we'll have to, to fight in our hand. A fight in our hands. If we try and head further into town. But, but Mr. Drippy, we can't fight the people of Ding Dong Dale. I know that, man. But we don't have much choice, is it? You'll have to, I don't know, knock them out gently or something. Leave no lasting damage, like. As long as they're still breathing, peace spell should turn them back to normal. Yeah, I guess you're right. The crew of the Iron Wyvern were okay in the end, huh? We just need to remember the Ding Dong Dale. Here, got a proper bucket full of that horrible ash stuff emptied on it. Hang around for too long and we'll end up like these other wretches, P or, or no P. Gee, I hadn't thought of that. Then we have to find that black crystal quickly. Right. And I heard the ash fell on Amma Moon and Hamlet as well. I reckon we should probably head straight there once we're finished over by here. What do you reckon, other boy? Got idea, Mr. Drippy. We have to save those people. Evil Dog Man. Master Potter. Big, big Fancy your chances, do you? Crystal. Look, it's a crystal. Yeah, we have to smash it. Uh. Looks like he's got other ideas. Poor King Tom. I know he's ugly. We'll have to give him a right royal Tom Tildrum is undead. <laughs> All right, Bell and Tom. He's undead. Oh, my God. 
Really? The claws? Again? You have to have claws of poison now out of everything. Help us out. Didn't see much help in there. Just saying. He have moves like this. Why? Why do they give him these moves? Wow! This is the toughest boss ever. Roger. 
Move, Oliver. Cancel out my heal because you're stupid. I hate this so much. Oh, this dude is why does he have two forms why I don't get it like, this is the worst joke ever Yeah. 
Why did that hit? Why? that hit from that range? How? Thank you. 
person's probably wanted to be an extremely long track guy. Because I don't stand being out of position. My only hope is to run around the field like a little chicken and slowly try and use more star without dying. A couple times on this dude. That's going to hit from that distance because that's logical for for this. So do that. right there. Okay, here goes. Sanctify! Oh, whatever has 
has one been doing? I don't know. Your majesty, you're back, thank goodness. I'm afraid you turned into a bit of a monster for a bit. There, okay, a complete monster. Well, one remembers nothing. It's okay now, Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat, Roger dear, this here is the king of kingdoms. Such trivialities are of no concern to one at present, fairy. One is more worried about one's total loss of memory. Don't worry, you're okay now, Majesty. Peace, Age. I know the townspeople, too. Is that so? Then one must dust oneself off and put one's kingdom back in order. Alright. The manor was fed by the energy that flowed from the black crystals. They formed the cornerstones of the forbidden spell. I am sure they did, but now they have been destroyed. Surely a mere human could not have carried out such a deal. Could he really be the one? Your radiance, what do you intend to do about this? Fear not. The manor is but a foretaste of what is yet to come. This trifling victory only delays the inevitable. Indeed. The more mankind struggles, the more surely its fate is sealed. Yes, they cling to a frail, bleating hope. But it is soon to be torn from them. To see mere mortals raise arms against your radiance. <laughs> An amusing spectacle. <laughs> we look forward to it. Now, Gallus. Are we to understand that you have had contact with the boy? I have. I wished to gauge his power. Gauge his power? And you expect us to, be to believe this? Can it be? First Shadar, and now you. You doubt the word of a fellow counselor? <laughs> what nonsense! Enough! Your, your radiance. Enough, I say. Yes, radiance. <laughs> He's like, yes, yeah, radiance. Your radiance. King, your father, he slipped away most peacefully. Oh, wow, her... But he's there. Why are you crying? She's the daughter uh, of the Wizard King? I'm not crying. <sighs> your Highness, it is time for you to take your father's place. Um... You mean I'll be Queen P? Yes, that is what is expected. Your radiance. Really? I wonder if I'll be a good queen. My... And so, the preparations for the succession are all in place. All matters of state have been entrusted to the Council of Twelve. That's right. You don't have to worry your pretty little head about a thing. <laughs> Look at her. Princess P hasn't the faintest idea what's going on. She is no longer a mere princess. Ah, you are quite right. Please accept my humblest apologies, Queen P. You look simply radiant, Princess P. But we had better start calling you by your true name, Queen Cassiopeia. 
You're a big girl now. And after today's ceremony, you'll be known by your big grown-up name. But... I... Your subjects are all toasting your health, Queen Cassiopeia. They're sure that you'll take after the Wizard King and lead our kingdom to a glorious future. But... I'm P. I don't want to be a queen. Wow. Queen P, huh? to end this here. Um, Alright, so Horus should be here now. Horus is the guy we've been looking for. That said that he'd return back here. Um, he's going to give you another puzzle. Since I'm going to end off here, I will say the... Uh, the answer to his puzzle is Unleash. You have to type in the name of um of the spell Unleash. That is the the puzzle it's the correct answer. So right at this point, when you go back to uh, the, the the Sage of Monument here, there are grave. Talk to Horus. Tell him the password and or the correct answer. I mean, and you will get another thing. I will see you later.